What's up, guys? I wasn't sure if it kicked on. It said it was uh, said it was connecting there, so I guess. Oh well, we've been on about about a minute. Okay, I was waiting for that light. So, cool. What's going on, guys? So, just going for a little walk. This is two videos in one day for me. This is is a big time, big, big day. Usually Sundays are pretty free for me, so I'm able to come on and do these videos, which is fun. I like coming on and just answering questions because. I know you guys have a lot of questions and you guys leave a lot of comments so sometimes these live streams are just a easier way to go ahead and answer some of those questions and just interact with you guys so let's see what's up ty eyeglass lady cheryl preston and i wanted to do this video today because it's going to start to really get a heat um, coming over this week and then it's probably gonna be here for the next month so I'm not sure how many of these walking videos I'll be doing come July it's gonna be brutal out here but today it's about 92 I think so yesterday was beautiful yesterday was about a high of I think 89 beautiful weather yesterday so just wanted to walk over to this park I was at Cornerstone Park this morning. I usually do my walk there in the morning. And uh, just walked over here to the gym. And now I figure we'll go for a little park. So super quiet over here. This is, um, God, this is Horizon. No, this is Paseo Verde um, in Anderson. Paseo Verde and Stephanie. So these are all just houses back here some condos very quiet area nice area over here I'm hoping I can find this park I think it's up here I've only been here one other time but it's a really nice park they have nice views of all the mountains and they have a lot of um, workout equipment at this one actually that Many of the other parks don't. They have like a full workout circuit and pull-up bars and all that good stuff. I'm not going to be using it today just because it's so hot, but nice to know. A lot of people come here with their dogs. Nice, uh, nice children's area as well. A little park. They got basketball courts and everything. So... Yeah, it's very quiet over here. You don't really even hear many cars passing by. So, it's not typically what you think of when you think of Las Vegas. You know, I have some people who comment on the videos and say, you know, Vegas is a dump and I would hate it. I would not like living here at all. You really got, you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. And these are some nice, I don't know if these are apartments or condos, they have a volleyball court. They look really nice. I didn't even know about these ones. So if you guys are coming on, make sure you click the thumbs up button for me. That way more people can get notified of the video. It just helps the video to get out. So yeah, of course you always have uh, People like that who have to uh, be obnoxious with their cars make the presence known, but it's really going to be anywhere. So it looks like we got a park sign coming up right here. Yeah, pretty much all of the apartments actually have gates around them for the most part. Like that one has gates. Um, the one that I live in right now, they're actually putting up gates. So. Yeah, these are really nice. They have like a, I don't know, like a Mediterranean type style to them. Really nice looking. So, so I'll probably stay on here. I don't know, maybe an hour, maybe more. They usually go, they usually go longer than I anticipate, which is fine. 
I got my battery with me, so I should be able to stay on and uh, just answer any questions that you guys might have. Also, just let me know where you're um, watching from. I like to see where everybody lives and kind of just connect with you guys a little more to see where you're from and everything. So that's always fun. Yeah, so here's the park right here. See the nice mountain in the background there. I apologize if this video is a little bit shaky. I didn't really anticipate doing a live video, but uh, decided to go ahead and do it. I don't have my stabilizer or anything with me, but just figured while I was walking over here, might as well do a video. So if you guys are coming on, just make sure to ask any questions or anything you, you know, are curious about, and I'll be glad to answer them. And just hit the thumbs up while you're here as well. There's the Reunion Trails Park sign. So let's go ahead and walk in the uh, walk in the main area right over here. If I don't get to your question right away, I'll I'll get to it. Just sometimes the chat doesn't show it right away. And. Uh, yeah, it's actually a really busy day over here. A lot of people, so. A cool area. Lots of cars. Looks like they got some parties going on, but a bunch of kids over there. So this is the little canopies over here. I don't want to record too much. Sometimes people don't want you filming around their kids, so. Try to be respectful of that. So, so we're just gonna go along this little trail here that I'll show you guys. And then I'll probably sit down at a table and go ahead and read some of the comments and answer some of the questions that y'all might have as soon as I find a place to sit, hopefully in the shade. And make sure Click the thumbs up guys. I really do appreciate that. And then more people are able to see the video because if you're liking the video, it tells YouTube it's a good video. And then more people are able to see it because it's gonna put it in their you know subscription feed or notify them, whatever. So here's all the nice green grass. So I know some of you are wondering about the greenery here. So here's a huge field. You can come play with your kids out here. Play with your dog nice nice area they have like a baseball fence over there so i don't see any dirt there's not like actual bases or anything set up but they do have a little baseball type field there's the canopies again so you can hang out under there they have picnic tables some grills um, really nice area they have one of those like splash pads for the kids over here as well it, like shoot up the water that they can jump on there's some swings so very very nice family friendly area and a lot of people ask about you know family activities kids activities so this would be a great spot to come hang out very friendly family friendly over here and then i don't know if i'll walk all the way over there we might but that's where the workout equipment is so they have like a full um workout area over there pull-up bars tons of machines they actually just use your body weight um some basketball courts so you can bring some your own basketballs of course but it's all closed in so you know if you miss a shot it's not gonna go flying all over the place got a gate around it some more canopies over here where you can barbecue and cook out and All right, start going through some of these questions here in a second, because it looks like we got quite a few. So what I'll do is as soon as I get over to this exercise area, I'll try to answer a couple of these. Not ignoring you guys, just trying to walk in. I also got this bag in my hand with some drinks, water and stuff. So just go ahead and put this down before we 
hop in. And actually, let's just go right here because it's in the shade. So, just stop for a little bit and see what kind of questions you guys have. All right, so we'll flip this screen around so you guys can actually maybe see me here. All right, you're here, nice neighborhood, quiet area. Chino, what's going on, man? Tampa, Florida, hot and humid. Yeah, I'm from Florida originally, so I know about that humidity. Riverside, California, what's going on? Any skateboard parks? Um, That's a good question. I feel like there is because I watch Think Media and uh, this guy named Sean, and I've seen him at a skate park before. I don't know if it was here or if he was somewhere else, but there could be. Um, gotta flip my chicken, I'm cooking. Yeah, you don't wanna burn the chicken. Anytime you burn the chicken, it always gets super hard. So, is it 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit yet? Now today, it's, uh, it's about 93 today, so not too bad. Lost you. Hopefully the connection's better now. I know I did lose connection for a second when I was over by the court, but it should be good. Um, is it easy to get sunburn there like Florida? Yeah, absolutely. It's very easy to get a sunburn here and you don't really feel it because you don't feel the sweat like you do in Florida. So the humidity is, uh, you know, it's not really there. So sometimes you don't really notice how hot it is um, because you're not sweating because it's a dry heat. So you have to be careful. I work outside and you can get sunburn. I mean, if you're not used to it, I could definitely see how you can get sunburned quick. I did a walk the other day for just like two miles. The one that I did last week going to Green Valley, and I got a little bit sunburned. Granted, it was about 103 that day, so. Dehydrated for sure, for sure. Definitely always have water with you. Um, even just this short walk that I did is only a mile, but because it's midday and the sun is just like super direct, um, I did start to feel a little dehydrated towards the end there. Luckily, I was where I needed to be to have some lunch. I went to Teriyaki Madness and sat there, ate my lunch, had some water, and uh, yeah, I was good to go. So if you guys are just coming on, click the thumbs up for me. I really do appreciate that. More people are able to see it um, by getting that. So, hey, Tony, keep up the great work. Chris, wind is a factor in Florida for sure. Wind is a factor here too. Absolutely. Um, yeah, wind is definitely a factor here, especially in Henderson. It gets very windy. Just want, hey Tony, you've been thinking about moving for a while. Just want to change. We'd love to day trade and play poker full time. Where would you recommend to live for easy access to strip and not bed crime? Um, I mean, it depends how close you want to be to the strip. If you want to be able to walk or if you're just willing to do a short drive. Um, where I live here in Henderson it only takes me 10, 15 minutes to get to the strip. Super quick, super easy drive. And you know, when you come home, you're away from all the craziness. So it's kind of nice. You can go there for the day if you want, come home and you're in a totally different world. It doesn't even feel like you're actually even living in Vegas over here in Henderson. It just, it's very green. You know, you don't feel like you're in the desert as much. You definitely are in the desert and you definitely do feel like you're in the desert, but not so much as um, some of the other areas of the city. Let's see, Vape in Hollywood, new subscriber. Welcome, man. Hope you enjoy the videos. My sister lives in Calico Ridge. It really gets above 70 degrees, Henderson kills me. Yeah, if it doesn't get above 70, Henderson gets pretty hot compared to that. From Tampa, short drive. Heard Treasure Island is nice. I've never been to Treasure Island, actually. That's one of the ones that I haven't been to Treasure Island. I haven't been to the new MGM, the one that was in Monte Carlo. I don't know if it's called the MGM. I don't remember that. I don't remember what they renamed it to, but Monte Carlo. Um, I've been in Win Encore. I've been in most of them. There's like a handful that I haven't been in. My favorite is I like the Venetian a lot on the Strip, and then I actually like the Luxor a lot. A lot of people don't like the Luxor, but I don't know something about just the way it's built. I think it's really nice. And Mandalay Bay is super nice as well. How hot is it right now? Today it's about 92, 93, so not too bad. 
Cosmopolitan, yeah. I always forget about Cosmopolitan. That one is really nice as well. Cosmo's super nice, actually. I went there during Christmas time, and they actually, something cool about the Cosmopolitan you may not know is during Christmas time, they actually freeze, well, they don't freeze it, but they cover the pool, and they actually make it an ice rink, so you can ice rink rooftop on the strip during Christmas time, which is really fun. Good family activity, good date activity. Um, if you're living here, you're gonna be here during that time. Been at my sister's house and it was about 127. Dude, I don't know where it gets 127. I've seen it hide here like 115, 117. I don't, I don't know where it would be 127. That's like Death Valley numbers. I don't think it gets 127 here. Treasure Island is kind of family oriented. I guess that makes sense, just judging by the name. I like the Mirage, that one's actually pretty nice too. They have the volcanoes there. And uh, Caesar's Palace is nice, but it's like, I don't know. It's got all that hype around it, so it's just, I don't know, I just see it differently. So, just hanging out here, look at this. Sun is back there, so I'm actually in the shade, which is nice. Any restaurants on the strip where it looks like to hang and watch the insanity? Oh man, there's tons. I mean, I don't know. If really, The thing about the strip is that locals don't really go to the strip. Um, the only time we really go to the strip is when family or friends are in town. There's some people who do go there regularly, but for the most part, we don't really go there. It's like when I lived in Orlando. Um, everybody thought, you know, you would always regular life. Um, it's very different when you visit somewhere compared to when you live somewhere. But I would say anywhere on the strip, I mean, there's tons of places where you could do that at. Planet Hollywood has a couple of places. And what's the one right next to Planet? Like the Paris, right around that area. That's a good area to kind of hang out and just people watch. They have a Giordano's deep dish pizza there, right outside of there in that little area. So. Twenty-two facts. Yeah, I've never seen it one twenty. I've never seen it above one seventeen, and I'm pretty sure online the highest day is like one seventeen in Vegas. Um, last year it got to be one fifteen, and I'm telling you, it was it was brutal. I didn't go outside the whole day that day. Anything when it gets above like one o three, one o four, it's just it's just miserable. Let's see, hundred degrees at midnight that does happen if it's a really hot day it still will be hot at night Vegas Henderson has great fish stores yeah there's a lot of like good classic stuff here is nice so here's some more houses just like literally you're, you could live right there and you have this park right here which is nice so there's a lot of parks in Henderson if you're going to choose this area. If I just go a mile up the road, I've got the Cornerstone Park that I usually go to. You go a mile the other way. Um, there's multiple other parks. There's just parks pretty much every few blocks. So it's a nice area. I'm in the process of moving to Vegas from LA. Can't wait. A change for the better. Yeah. I moved here from LA and honestly I couldn't be happier you know I do miss some things like I, I did like to go driving on PCH and you know sometimes just sit by the beach and relax you know that I do miss there but for the most part much better here have you ever been near area 51 no I would love to though I find that stuff very interesting but from the videos that I've seen online of people going there, it is a little sketchy. You have to watch it back. There's like camo dudes that hang out in the desert that are, I guess, privately contracted security. Um, but they're well within their right to shoot you if you do anything stupid or violate anything, like go over the border. There's actually a YouTube guy a couple months back. They went over the Area 51 line. They posted it online. And I think they were doing a live stream, actually. 
and the guy just like disappeared. Nobody's heard from him since. So, a little sketchy. I wouldn't. Seven skate parks within Henderson. That's good to know. I did not know that. Do you know exactly where they are? Um, how's the social atmosphere? Are people inviting? Yeah, I found that people here are actually very friendly. People are very inviting. And um, people are just more happy here compared to where I was in California. A lot of people in California are, they're living way beyond their means. They're stressed out financially. They're tapped out. They just, they can't afford to keep up anymore. So when you come here, it's totally different. Previously mentioned that you probably move again. May I ask why Henderson is not good for long term? It's not that it's not good. It's more so that I don't 100% know. I'm I'm still young. I'm 28. I'm not married. I don't have kids. I don't have any type of relationship currently. I've been in relationships in the past long term, and you know my longest one was seven years, and after that was like two or three years. So I've kind of always been with somebody. So now that I've been single for a couple years now since I left Orlando, um, I just feel like it's a good time to try different cities, you know, because once you get with somebody, if you have a kid, like you're stuck, you can't go anywhere, you're, you're done. I mean, you can leave, but it's not on you anymore. You have to consult with your partner. You gotta make sure that your kids are taken care of. Like the risk is not just on you anymore. Whereas right now, I could move to Puerto Rico tomorrow if I want to. I could move to Seattle tomorrow. I could move to Canada, like I can move wherever I want. And I just think right now is a great time to do that because a lot of people get later in their life and, you know, this is why people have midlife crises when they're, you know, 40, 45, you know, because they never did anything different. You know, they got the job at 22 after they graduated college, they worked full time, they got married, they had kids, they bought a house and now they're freaking out because they feel like they never did anything. So for me being the age that I am, I just feel like it's a good idea for me to try new cities and move around. Um, moving there next year, I grew up there and joined in Navy. Nine, nine. Eric, where did you move to? Have you tried marijuana since the legalization? I know you don't smoke, but maybe try it out. I've tried it. I'm not a big fan. Um, when I was in LA, actually, it was the first time that I ever smoked <laughs> marijuana, and I did not like the experience. I've done it a few times, but I don't really like it. I do use CBD at night before bed for anxiety, so it has a little bit of THC in it, so I, you know, it's, it's a CBD THC mix um, because the CBD works better with some THC but it's not enough to like get you super high or anything just nice before bed helps me fall asleep um, but yeah they say when temperature is like 115 starts to drop the Sun is back out yeah if when it's those days of 115 it's still you know 100 degrees at night and by the time morning comes you know it's it's already just heating back up Especially if you're on concrete, black tar, anything like that, it's gonna be super hot. San Diego. Yeah, San Diego's expensive, man. It's nice out there, but it is, it's just as expensive as LA almost. Average rent on a one bedroom, nice place is 500, 600 a month in Alabama. Damn, that's really cheap. And if you get the munchies, everything there is 24 hours for all your cravings. Yeah. For the most part, um, when you get over here in Henderson, not everything is 24 hours, but you still do have quite a few places. All your like little taverns, bars are open pretty much 24 hours. Um, everybody always says that I love Buffalo Wild Wings, but I've, I've only actually been there twice since living here. It's just the t first thing that comes to my mind when I think of 24-7 restaurants over here in Henderson. There's Buffalo Wild Wings, and there's just a couple other places. P PT's is a good one. Uh, Parkway Tavern is another good one. Of course, like your Denny's and all that stuff is typically 24 hours anyway. So yeah, if you don't mind, what is your main source of income and what industry do you think is thriving there? Uh, my main source, man, I'm actually self-employed as a freelancer. So I do a lot of video editing. I actually manage a couple YouTube channels for a few clients. Um, so I do all the filming, editing, uploading, keywording, tagging. And um, I've been doing that for the past two years and I just decided it was finally time to put some of that knowledge into myself and into my own channel and I've seen extreme growth I mean extreme I never expected this amount of growth in the past month month and a half that I've been really consistent with this 
Um, and that's just the name of the game is consistency on YouTube. Consistency and making sure that you're doing all the right things with your, your titles and your tags and everything. And uh, when you nail that, you'll be able to grow. So I do that and then I have some online training as well. I do some life coaching with some clients. So between the freelancing, the life coaching, the YouTube, and some affiliate stuff that I have going on, I pretty much have like four or five kind of sources of income that I work from. Um, what industry do you think is thriving there? It's definitely hospitality, man. Um, the only issue with the hospitality is a lot of jobs are starting to be automated. I know MGM is starting to automate a lot of things. When I was walking the strip the other day, they had um, a lot of self-checkout kiosks that they've installed in the lobbies. So they've cut down on the amount of front desk workers and they're giving you the self-check-in kiosks, which is gonna be a lot harder to get a room upgrade because you're not you know, interacting with a real human. You just walk up and you get the room that you were you know, booked for. So it's gonna cut down on that type of stuff, which kind of sucks, but Nevada has no state tax. That's why people are moving. That's a big reason, but there's it, it's just too damn expensive. It's not even just the state tax. It's just the cost of living, the rent. I mean, if I wanted to get I'm going to get up and walk again so that I can move around and actually give you guys something to look at. But if I was to get my apartment that I have here in LA, I mean, I'd be paying three, four thousand dollars a month. I mean, it's just, it's just crazy. The traffic, I mean, the amount of time that you waste sitting in traffic is insane. You know, if you have to drive, you know, 10 miles a day, some, some people drive, you know, 20, 30 miles a day in that LA traffic. You know, you're driving four hours a day sometimes just to get to and from work. I mean, on top of an eight, nine, ten hour work day, you know, time you get home, you can't even walk the dog or do anything, you know, with your time. You're just always stuck in traffic, wasting away. So, yeah, just a lot of problems there. I'll be moving there from Jackson, Tennessee for the next two years. Jackson, Tennessee. Okay, never mind. I have a friend in Jackson, Mississippi. I was thinking that sounded familiar, but so what brings you out here? Moving there, so I'm waiting to see the rents will start to get more expensive. I don't think the rents are going to start to get too much more than they are right now. That's just my personal opinion. They're they've gone up a lot just in the last year. Because I remember last year when I moved here, I was finding places for eight nine hundred bucks. You know, I moved into mine because it was new. And it was still significantly less than LA, so I went with that one. But I could have gotten in a place last year for like 800 bucks. You know, now you can't really find much in that price range unless you're willing to go to a not so good area. Saw that people are renting a bed in Los Angeles for that. Yeah, it's crazy. If you look on like Airbnb, you can see people are renting like little tiny room, like shack type things. It's very common, especially over by the airport area. There's a lot of people that are just like renting tiny rooms and stuff for, you know, 900 bucks, 1,000 bucks, you know, community bathroom, no kitchen, no washer dryer, just a tiny room with a bed in it that you can sleep in. There's people with, air, you know, they're renting air beds I've even seen. It's crazy over there. And, ooh, there's a rabbit. I don't know if you guys see him. See if you guys, little jackrabbit. There he goes. It's quick. So that's one of the wildlife animals that you'll see a lot over here is the jackrabbits. They're all over the place. And then right back here is a dog park. So if you have your dog, I didn't even know this was here. That's good to know. I actually had somebody ask me about dog parks on one of my videos. So there is your dog park. And it's all gated, some grass in there, and I would assume some sort of water fountain, maybe something. Usually they have like the the dog fountains on the ground that they can, you know, use. Let's see. So, dog walker. Hey, you just gotta keep your dog on a leash, and uh, looks like it's okay. So those of you that are just coming. All right, I am back. So, yeah, the phone cut out for a little bit because I was in the direct sunlight and it just got too hot. So I'm back. Hopefully the connection is okay. It seems like it's not that great. But probably move in a minute, go up to the main area. 
I'm used to my privacy. Saw him for a quiet life. Heavy communications degree. Yeah, you could probably find some good stuff out here with that. Little pause on hot asphalt. Well, it's actually grass over there, grass and dirt. Um, and it doesn't seem like the rocks here are too, like the dirt area doesn't seem hot, but I'm also in the shade, so I could be wrong. But where they actually are is it's all grass, so they're good. Um, maybe do a video on the state tax exemption in Nevada. I actually have an, um, another video. I recorded like a couple videos this week. I have another video probably live tomorrow or if it'll just be later this week, but it's just about like the cost of living. It's gonna go over like the rent, the electricity, car insurance, taxes, all the good stuff um, all in one video. So look out for that this week coming up. Uh, closest one from where we are is Morel Parts, another on Horizon Bridge. Oh, Horizon, okay. That's the Buffalo Wild Wings area that I usually go to. So. So I am currently in the shade here. Just trying to let this phone cool down. Because I actually didn't even lose connection. What happened is the phone overheated from being directly in the sun for too long. So that's the dog park right there. And uh, there's an entrance right there. They have the dog water fountain that I was talking about, the lower one, so they can get water right there. And uh, uh, it's just beautiful out today. Clear skies. Super nice. So what other videos are you guys interested in? What um, what other questions do you guys have? Because I have probably about a list of, I don't know, 10 to 12 more videos of topics that you guys have commented on the videos. So I want to make those, but any other questions you have, just let me know. I'll answer it here on the live stream, but also, um, you know, if, if one person has a question about it, chances are there's probably thousands of people that have a question about it, so it's always a good good video topic to make. Looks like desert, yeah. This area is nice because you have like some greenery with the desert life, the rocks. It's a nice mixture of everything over here. So All right, well, let's see. I'm trying to think if there's anything over here in addition to this park, but I don't think there really is. Could always walk back, do video on the strip soon. I'll probably do one of those soon. I gotta think when I'm going over that way because one of the big reasons why I'm doing a lot of these walking videos, which is great because I'm walking and I'm seeing more things, um, is I actually sold my car last week. Was it last week or the week before? I was just having way too many issues with it and it was just time to let it go. And I don't really drive anywhere. I was driving like 200 miles a month and most of those I didn't even need to be driving. So, you know, I work from home and I drive over to Summerlin once a week. So right now I'm just getting an Uber over there once a week and it's super easy, way less than I was paying for car insurance, gas, car payment, all that. So it's very easy to actually get around here without a car. If you're not used, like if you have to get to work five days a week, I would not suggest it, but you know, if you only have to go to work a couple days a week or you work from home or you, you know, work very close to where you live, you definitely don't need a car here. 
And from what I've actually heard from you guys in the comments, the public transportation is actually really good from the bus system. Not so much over here in Henderson, but if you're on the west side, um, from what I hear, the bus system is actually pretty good over there. So it's good to know for you guys. Thinking about getting a bike though, because I do like to be active. I like doing the walking, you know, because it gets me out, gets me moving, because since I work from home, I am sitting at a desk at my computer a lot. So doing the walking videos is actually cool because it gets me out, gets me moving. You know, I do go to the gym pretty much every day and do my weights. Not a big cardio guy. So kind of forces me to go ahead and do some cardio as well, which is nice. But anyways, I think the phone has cooled down. So I'm going to try to walk over to the pavilion area so that I'm moving around and you guys are just staring at a blank screen here so if i don't answer your question right away i'll answer it when i get over to the pavilion because i'm trying to keep the phone low and just out of the sun while we walk over there And while we're walking over there, be sure to smash that thumbs up button if you haven't. Do you ever get bored there compared to LA? No, not at all, honestly. I do a lot more here than I did in LA because in LA the traffic was so bad I never wanted to go anywhere. So what I would do is once or twice a week, I lived in mid-city, I would go to like Santa Monica or Venice once a week, but it was always a nightmare getting back from there. So I really didn't get out as much just because of how hectic it was to get everywhere. I definitely walk more here. I do way more hiking here and everything is just closer in general so LA has a lot to do but it's very spread out you got to deal with the traffic you know LA you really have to live where you're gonna spend most of your time you know I think that was one of the biggest reasons that I didn't like LA is where I lived you know I lived mid-city and I think that I would have preferred to live more on the west side, Santa Monica, Marina del Rey. I think I would have enjoyed it a lot more if I lived over there, but everything happens for a reason. You know, I wouldn't have Vegas had I lived in Marina del Rey or anything because one of my biggest clients that I have out with his YouTube channel, my building in Mid City. So if it wasn't happens for a reason, here we are back around the loop again. And I'm gonna try to find a bench to sit at so that I can not be sitting in the grass like I was. So. And if I missed your question, I'll get to it here in a second, guys. Once I sit down. Alright, so we're gonna hang out right over here in the shade. These are the basketball courts right here. So, quite a few of them. So, let's see. I'm not a big cardio guy, that's why I plan on getting a bike when I move there. Yeah, if you get a bike, you'll be able to get around real easy here. Tons of bike lanes, bike paths, everything you can do. Um, We'll give you a deduction when I get paid. I've debit and usually clear early month. Yeah, no worries, Cheryl. I appreciate that. Anything always that you guys give through the super chat or through PayPal that I have the links down in the description or if you use the YouTube 
either way. It just stays 100% to the channel, so I put all of that money back into reinvesting in equipment and things to improve these videos for you guys. I love that Vegas didn't have mosquitoes. Yeah, now that you say it, I never, I never actually noticed that before, but yeah, no mosquitoes here. We do have bats. They're very rare, but there's bats around. Uh, what's your favorite thing to eat on cheat day? I don't really do a cheat day anymore. I used to do that where I would eat super clean six, seven days a week and then have like a cheat meal cheat day. But now I just count my macros and honestly I haven't even counted my macros in a while. I've just been doing more of a intuitive eating approach and it works well. As long as you're active and you're lifting weights and you're doing all those things, you don't have to worry too much about it. Currently pay bills try to hang on to my cash. I don't trust cards. Yeah, I don't blame you. What would be a comfortable income for a good quality out there? Um, that really depends on your type of lifestyle and the way that you like to live. If you're somebody who likes to go out a lot, you like to go to dinners, um, go out and do activities, you're gonna need obviously more money. Um, if you have other engagements like credit cards, car payments, those type of things, you know, it really depends, but I would say, you know, for rent, I would say budget around rent, utilities, everything. If you're gonna do a one bedroom apartment, it's like 1200 a month, 1300 a month for everything. And whatever else you need after that is really, it's really up to you how often you eat, um, how much food you get at the grocery store, what type of food you buy at the grocery store. Um, I think you should probably be fine on like 40,000. You know, it's gonna be a little tight, but you can make that happen. For sure. You may not be able to save as much on that, but. So let's see. Can't afford to go if somebody clear my card. Vegetables roasted and pasta is a good meal in the summer. That sounds good. Throw some chicken on there. Good to go. Hello from Clearwater. What is up, Florida? Good old East Coast, that's the hometown. Good stuff, thanks for all the info. No problem, man. If you got any other questions, just let me know. Always looking for new questions, because that helps me to make more videos. Because like I said, ultimately, if one of you is asking a question, there's thousands that have the same question. Humid as usual. Yeah, I hear you guys have been getting rain daily for quite some time now, which is typical during the summer. I lived there for 23, 24 years, so. So while I'm here, give the video a thumbs up if you guys haven't yet. I just eat frozen chicken breast and veggies, brown rice, pretty boring. It might be boring, but you know what? The more consistent you keep it and the easier you keep it, I just find you don't have to think as much. I think too many people think about what to eat. And I just believe in keeping it simple. If you want to change it up, maybe put some seasonings, different sauces and stuff, that's cool. But for the most part, I eat the same thing every day too. Chicken, beef, bison, salmon, brown rice, white rice, asparagus, broccoli. Pretty simple. What's up, Natalie? Smell A. <laughs> Found this from your video, things you like and don't like about Henderson. Yeah, man. Those videos are doing really, really, really well. You know, it's funny because the first video I did about living here was pros and cons, and I almost didn't even post that video. And then probably two weeks after I posted it, it started to get, I think it's at like 10,000 views now but that's a video I almost didn't even post. And had I not posted that one video, I would have never done any of these other videos. So it's crazy how sometimes we get in our own head, we overthink stuff and we're like, ah, that video is probably not that good. I'm not gonna put it up. And honestly, what it is, is it's just putting up a video. It's putting up everything that comes to your head, thinking about things that come to your head. And when you get one that pops, you make more of it. 
because the algorithm likes it. The, the, the platform is enjoying that video, so you should always make more of that video. And that's what I've been doing. I like legs, breasts are dry. I, I usually mix the uh, thighs with the breasts inside the crock pot with some bone broth. Really good. At EOS now, getting fit. I was actually just there before here. I was at EOS. The one in uh, Henderson here, off of Stephanie. I was just there right before coming here. That happened to me too a couple times. That's how it works, man. It's like, the biggest thing I've seen is most people, their YouTube channel grows off of like a handful of videos. There's gonna be like five to 10 videos that they make that do really, really well, that build majority of their subscribers and channel growth. So, any of you out there that are trying to do a YouTube channel, make a video, put it out. Don't overthink it. Don't, you know, say, oh, this is probably not good. This isn't gonna get likes. This isn't gonna get this. Cause you don't know. You really don't know. Most of the videos that I didn't think were gonna do good are the ones that end up doing good. So, biggest thing is just put it out there and be prepared for when you put it out there. There's gonna be people who are gonna disagree with you and there's gonna be people who are going to insult you, but it's online, it's just behind a keyboard, don't worry about it. You just have to be consistent, you have great content, you're a chill guy and you communicate well. I appreciate that, man. I try to be as high quality as I can without letting that hinder me from actually putting content out. So, you know, a lot of people worry too much about the quality and then they only put out one video a week. And if you're doing that, you can only put out 52 videos all year. Whereas, you know, if you put out three videos a week, you now can put out 156 videos a year. So you have a much better chance of actually seeing growth. And I don't think it has to be like movie producing quality every time you put a video up. Are housing prices decreasing this year or next? I don't know, nobody knows. You know, nobody can really predict what's gonna happen, but in my opinion, I think that this market will crash in the next 12 to 18 months. That's my opinion. Um, and I think exactly what happened here in 2008, 2009 is gonna happen here again, and I think it's gonna be even worse. And that's, that's my, my personal opinion. I think the debt is way too high. Um, the Fed is cutting interest rates, interest rates way too low. The stock market is not aligned with the actual economy. Um, the stock market is just out of control. So I really do believe the economy will crash here in the next 12 to 18 months. And it could happen before that, it could happen after that, but that's, that's what I predict. I think right after the next election is when it's gonna happen. Because right now they're, they're propping it up. Like this economy is being propped up right now. All these tax cuts that Trump did, everything is, it's all fake, it's a bubble. And honestly, most people are tapped out. Most people are in so much debt. Most people are just making payments. They're just getting by. Everybody's a debt slave, so. And that's what happens when you, you know, print a bunch of money that doesn't exist. Even with the Raiders crash, yep, even with the Raiders. The Raiders aren't gonna control the entire US economy. And it's not even just the US economy, it's the whole global economy, it's all a mess. If I come out soon, we have to grab some wings at Buffalo Wild Wings, you're right, all assets are way too high, it's called euphoric phase, yep. See, Colton, you know exactly what it is, man. And I'm down to go to Buffalo Wild Wings, I always am. That's what I'm worried about, I wanna see where the economy goes. I, I mean, like I said, I think it's going to be at least at least another year. I think it'll happen right after the next election. I don't think they're going to let it fall until then, in my opinion. But I could be wrong. But I wouldn't wait, you know, because right now you can move out here and live here for an entire year before that happens and be perfectly fine. So I wouldn't buy a house right now, though. Definitely not. Houses are overpriced here significantly, 20, 25% higher than they should be. If you own a house out here right now, I would sell it. Take your profits for a year, 
buy a house next year when it crashes. But if you're gonna come here for a year and just rent, check it out. I don't see anything wrong with that. But that is something for you guys to be aware of. If you are thinking about moving here, this economy, it's more diversified than it used to be. You know, it's not all on gambling now, but the thing is, you know, it may not be gambling, but it still relies on hospitality. You know, the younger generation isn't gambling as much, but they're going to these, you know, day clubs, nightclubs, parties, events, entertainment. And if we have an economy crash, people aren't going to be using disposable income because they're not going to have any. So people are not going to be traveling here and spending as much money which in turn will hurt the economy. That's why I think the Raiders coming here is a kind of good diversification because people will still go to the games that live here, some of them. Um, it kind of takes a little bit of the pressure away from 100% hospitality, but not completely. Save cash man, be liquid. Seven million people behind on car notes as of last week. For sure. Right now, if you can hold cash, hold as much cash as you can. Sell any nonsense shit in your house that you're not using. A lot of people have so much shit. They collect tons of shit, you know. That's why I like to live in a small apartment. People ask me, why don't you have a house? Because it's just me. If, it was just, if it's me in a house, I'm gonna have to fill up the bedrooms, buy more shit. I'm gonna fill up the you know, secondary rooms, buy more shit, put more on the walls put more in the dining room. You know, you just, you have to keep buying stuff the more space you have. I'd rather stay lean and light and tight and hold on my cash right now. Tons of houses for sale, yeah. And the funny thing is, if you go on Zillow.com, look at the houses for sale here, most of them are empty or you can tell they're staged because a lot of people are being foreclosed, they can't afford it. There's a lot of empty houses here. I have too much stuff for sure. A lot of work on then. If you're, if you're actually thinking about moving, you know, cut down on some of that. Sell some of it. I mean, when I moved from Florida to California originally, I sold everything. I drove in my four-door sedan with everything I had. So you can always get another bed. You can get a bed frame. I got all my stuff at IKEA. It's not like super cheap, but it's cheap. You can even buy used on Facebook Marketplace. It doesn't have to be brand new. Are they building any amusement parks down there, like a Six Flags? Not that I'm aware of. We have a couple water parks here. I think there's two water parks. They're not like anything crazy, but there's some water parks here. Oh, and I'm gonna grab this table, cause this guy just left. So I can sit at this table now in shade. Perfect. sit down so all right what you say i love my bed yeah i know that feeling i loved mine when i was in florida too but you life goes on you know and i don't know where in a u-haul you're spending a lot more money than if you just drove your car out here my moving costs all i had to do was buy some boxes and i took all the cash that i had from selling my stuff and i used it to buy new stuff I think Las Vegas needs something like that down there. That would be cool. I agree, that would be cool. Um, the closest thing would be like, I think Disneyland is the closest, California. But there's a lot of kids over here, so I apologize if you guys hear a bunch of screaming kids, but we're at a park. Homes that are worth 185 are on market for almost 300. Yeah. And when this market crashes, and it will, I don't know when, like I said, I think 12 to 18 months. Those houses that are supposed to be 185, you can buy for 90. Like, they're gonna be cheap to get. Everything seems packed in. I hear the term Hender Tucky. I don't really, I don't really understand that, Hender Tucky. I, I don't really get it, to be honest with you. Um, I don't, I don't see it where I live. I think it's great here. 
you know some people are gonna love it some people are gonna hate it it's like anywhere you go but I mean if you go along Boulder Highway which I mentioned in the video that I uploaded today as an area to avoid I could see that being considered Hendertucky because it's it is sketchy over there it's not the nicest area um, that's where you start to see more homeless more shopping carts more cop cars more you know prostitute looking people um, pawn shops payday loans quick cash all that stuff which like I said you're gonna see that anywhere here in Vegas because it's gambling culture so I mean we're gonna have loan shops everywhere but they're literally just right next to each other so whenever you start seeing that stuff it's usually not a great area rural area man I would look I would start looking in Boulder City if you're looking for that or the Northwest I know has a lot of empty areas still but the Northwest is being built up but Boulder City is actually it's not far from here and if that's what you want is to just be super rural but you want to still be close it's only like 20 minutes from here you're gonna be really close to the Hoover Dam all that good stuff so Lake Mead Boulder City's not bad Um, go up towards Mount Stennis country. It can be, like I said, um, it is getting built up over there in the Northwest, but still definitely an area that's not nearly as built up. Um, what is Container Park in Las Vegas? Container Park is basically a bunch of shipping containers in downtown area. They have like a praying mantis out there, shoots fire, um, but it's just like little restaurants and bars and just like a nice little kind of, I don't, I don't want to really that I've seen. Um, it's gonna be like, you know, Joe's Burgers and Nancy's Tacos or whatever, I don't know. But it's gonna be just like local businesses inside the containers. And what they did was they just built them inside the containers. It's actually really cool. They're all stacked on top of each other and you can walk through them. And it's a really cool spot. I would actually like to do a video there. I'm thinking maybe this week I'll do a downtown video. I'm not sure, but I've been wanting to go downtown anyway so and we got some new people on so make sure you guys click that thumbs up that way more people get to see the video and all that stuff um, I push back moving because that reason I see the crash coming I don't blame you um, you know you can move here now just be aware you know I would not buy a house here you know if you're gonna come here for a year and rent totally fine you know but I would not buy anything right now can you throw out some names of good apartments which area are you looking for because um, if you're looking for Henderson, I like, where I live is Castile, it's nice, C-A-S-T-I-L-E, good prices, the community is well taken care of, two pools, dog park, volleyball court, um, and for the price I think they're very well priced, gym, 24-hour gym, pool table, ping pong, everything there that you would need, coffee bar, um, free Starbucks coffee, it's really nice, also the well is really nice and let's see Elysian anything in Elysian is nice e-l-y-s-i-a-n Elysians are a little more expensive they're a little more bougie um, but those are really the ones I like Spur is decent they're a little pricey as well Empire is good um, Ladera in Green Valley I heard is okay the reviews are not great online so I would check that one out yourself but I've heard those are decent for the price um, 80 at Gibson or Gibson at 80 I think is another one that's not bad uh, dream is over by me that one looks pretty nice and let's see I think those are the main the main ones that I could think of off the top of my head hopefully that helped I think I threw out almost 10 different complexes there in Henderson so if you have to rewatch this, I'm going to leave the video up. You can go ahead and, and watch it back. This is about the one hour mark. Um, I'm so glad people like you are keeping it real. I'm an actor. I was in clouds about Russian essay, so social media. Yeah, dude, right now, honestly, the thing is with the way that we, that I'm, you know, where I'm using it right now with you guys, you don't need a middleman anymore. You don't need to, it does help if you know somebody, you'll get there quicker, but you gotta play this game of like kissing their ass and sucking up and getting in good with them and doing all this. Like right now, 
if you are a band, like you can put your music on SoundCloud, you can put your videos on YouTube, you can put your music on iTunes, like you don't have to really be like trying to get somebody to put you on anymore. You can kind of put yourself on in a way, which is nice. Um, Castillo, it's actually Castile. So C-A-S-T-I-L-E and look into those. Those are really nice. And if you actually sign a lease at Castile, I know the uh, property manager over there, let, let them know that I referred you and I think we both get some sort of a discount on our month. So do that if you do. Looking to rent a house, it seems uh, 1300 is going right for Southern Vegas. That sounds about right, depending on how big of a house you're looking at, but I would say that's probably a good starting point. I've seen some for higher, I've seen some for lower, but if you wanna be in a decent area, um, like two bedroom, three bedroom, probably 13, 14, probably between 1300 and like 16, 1700 is where I would say. Like a two or three bedroom house in a good area. Just keep in mind with a house, you're gonna be paying more for utilities because it's more to heat up, it's more to cool down. Uh, for me and my apartment, I just have a one bedroom apartment, it's like 700 square feet and only cost me like 55 bucks a month for the actual like electric utilities and all that. Did you just up and move or did you dry run to get an idea? So I actually came here twice before I moved. I came here, my lease in LA ended last July, so I came here in May. And before I came, I wrote down about 10 different apartment complexes that I wanted to look at. And I drove my car over here. Actually, I rented a car that time because um, my car was in the shop. That car had so many issues, glad it's gone. but. Um, I had about 10 different places I want to look at, rented a car, drove over here. I stayed at the Westin in Lake Las Vegas, super nice hotel, highly recommend it. And usually the prices there are like 90 bucks a night and it's right on the lake so it's really nice. Um, but yeah, I did that, I just drove around, I, I came here for two days and I looked at like, I think I ended up looking at about five of them because once I got into certain areas I didn't want to look at the other ones. so. I would write down, like do your research online, look for an area that you like, put in your price range, filter everything out, and uh, write down some places and come visit for a weekend and check it out. So, but yeah, that's what I did. And then I came back and I went and saw the apartment that I thought I liked, again, just to verify it. And uh, that's when I signed my Agreements move in. I gotta plug in because I just got a low battery warning here. So, what other questions we got coming up? You guys are you guys got a lot of questions. I love it. Um, when are you moving into your two bedroom? I'm supposed to move on August sixth, so sometime around then. My bill is usually one ten. One ten for a house, or what are you currently in? How much pay per rent for month? Right now I pay 1080, but I moved in a year ago. You're not gonna find the community, you won't find 1080 anymore. It starts at about 1200. And when I moved in, it was um, it was brand new, it wasn't finished. They were still doing construction, so that's why the price was lower because not all the amenities were available. They were, the volleyball court wasn't done. Um, they also gave me a free month, so I didn't have to pay anything to move in um, until 30 days later. I just paid an application fee, which was like 50 bucks, and my first month was completely free. So that's one thing I would suggest. I, I did say this in one of my last videos. Um, if you're looking for a place to move, try to look for an apartment that you can find that's still under construction because if the amenities are not yet finished, what they'll do is they'll usually give you a lower rate to make up for that. And especially if it's brand new, they may give you a free month or a free half a month um, so that they can try to fill the place up as quickly as possible, which is always nice. Is it safe to go camping in Red Rock? Absolutely. Just watch out for, you know, night critters. Do you think credit plays a huge role when it comes to renting? 
it does definitely play a huge role for sure. Um, a lot of people do get evicted here, not being able to afford. You know, they come in and it's very quick eviction process here in Nevada. They don't, or Nevada. I keep trying to say it correctly. So many people have commented on the videos about that, Nevada. So if you have to get evicted here, it's very quick. Like you're out within a week. They can kick you out very fast. So, um, you know, at the same time, I think it is important, but at the same time, if you don't pay, they can also kick you out very fast. So I'm not sure. I think that's gonna depend on the community and how much they wanna fill up the place. But one bedroom or a studio, 700, 900. Okay, so what I would recommend for that, you can definitely get a studio for that. Look into downtown. I know it's not gonna be the most glamorous area, but they have some newer um, renovated complexes down there that you can definitely find a studio for about 700. I've seen some that are brand new with um, you know the new cabinets, the new flooring. Um, like I said, it's gonna be downtown. So, you know, just watch your back where you're walking, but you can find a studio for that rate, for sure. There's a one bedroom apartment for like the 750 to 900. It's gonna be very hard to find something for a one bedroom for anything in that range. Um, not in Henderson anyway. You're not gonna find anything in Henderson for that. You might be able to find something for like 950 in Henderson. It's gonna be a little bit older, but I think I've seen a couple for like 950 in the Henderson area, so you, you can probably get in for that range. Um, appreciate the heads up on the apartments. Yeah, no problem, man. Um, I have a big storage closet. I pay around time. It is important to pay around time, I agree. It's always, you don't want somebody over your back for like where you live, you know, that's like, you always wanna take care of where you live first because if you don't have a place to live, you're kinda, kinda screwed. Did you have to show proof of income when you're down there, proof of having a job? I did not have to do, what they look for is they want your um, W-2 if you have a job. If you don't have a job, they'll ask for your bank statements for about the last three months. Or if you're self-employed in my case, they ask for like your tax returns as well as your bank statements um, just to make sure that you have the right amount of income. Or if you're willing to pay three months up front, most places will let you move in with that. So. If you have enough cash up front to do three months um, prepayment, they'll probably let you move in. Even if you have not the greatest credit, if you can pay three months, I've found that a lot of places will be very flexible with you because um, you're guaranteeing, you know, three months. I like older apartments usually bigger. They are usually bigger. And the thing about the older apartments that I do like is they have a little bit more carpet. Some people don't like carpet, but for me, it helps to not have the noise especially if you have somebody above you, because whereas if you have carpet above you, it's a lot quieter and you don't hear as much of the walking. Um, but yeah, older apartments are usually bigger and they just feel a little more homey. They feel more cozy. A lot of these newer apartments are just like so chic and clean that you, you almost don't even want to touch anything because of just how clean they look. Three months up front, I might have to do that. Yeah, it's an option. You know, not every place is going to do that, but I would uh, I would say that's probably an option for a lot of people. I know that I got offered that option because the problem with being self-employed is, you know, not all the time is your income consistent. So there was a lot of places that did want me to pay three months up front. So I would assume that would be for anybody, you know, if you can pay three months. It seemed like that was kind of the, the standard. So have some new people on, smash the thumbs up if you're coming on, por favor. Helps other people to see the video and just helps support the channel. Let me know you guys are liking what I do. Um, I was watching your, very, your channel for the very first time, saw you were live, so here I am. What's up, man? Mike, welcome, brother. Hope you enjoy the channel. Um, if you have any questions, you know, anything you want to know about, let me know while you're on here. I like to do these lives for you guys and just kind of interact and answer some questions for you guys. So carpet is better we write off a lot for self-employed yep you do get to write off a lot of things so on my way over here I got a drink I got some food and since I'm working doing this I was able to you know 
put those things on there, so it helps. You can write off a lot of things when you're self-employed. It definitely, definitely helps. So, um, so are you staying in Vegas or you planning on moving to another state? I'm not sure. For right now, I'm here. I don't 100% know what I'm gonna do or what the future may bring, but like I mentioned earlier in the stream, I'm not married. I don't have any kids. I have nothing keeping me anywhere. Um, and I'm not interested in like settling down right now. You know, I'm interested in going and mo moving to different places, seeing new things, traveling. You know, I just think a lot of people get to their 40s, 50s, and they start to have a midlife crisis because they followed the path of go to college or go to school, get a job, move up the ladder, get a house, get married, have kids, and then they're stuck and they feel like they can't move anywhere. So I just want to avoid having that feeling when I get older. So for me, you know, I'm just willing to move around and try as many places as I can while I'm young. You know, I've lived in Connecticut is where I was born. My parents moved down to Florida when I was young. I lived there most of my life, went to college there, never left that town, packed up everything I owned, moved to LA. Now I'm here. So I just like to live life to the fullest while you're young because man, at any time, I mean, what if there's anything I've learned in life, it's you could be gone tomorrow. Like you could be gone in an hour. Like who knows? You don't know when your time's gonna come. So you might as well enjoy life. And I mean, for some people, that's what they wanna do. You know, they wanna settle down and they wanna have a house and a family. And if that's what you want and that's what makes you happy, then I think you should do that. You know, I think it's just, you gotta do what makes you happy at the end of the day because life is short, man. When you take into account all the time we sleep, all the time we eat, all the time we work, you really don't have a lot of time left to live, you know? Most of our life is spent doing these these tasks, so I'd rather just not have that regret when I'm older. Um, how's the internet connection in Henderson? Yeah, they have gigabit here, so you can go up to um, a gigabit a second, super fast. And it's pretty affordable. I think my internet, I pay $70 a month, and I have the 300 megabit, but if you want the gigabit, I think it's like 90 a month. But yeah, it's super good. Google Fiber, I don't believe so. Um, how young are you? I'm 28. I wanna move to Vegas from Los Angeles. What area do you recommend? Look into Henderson, man. Henderson is my favorite area by far, but a lot of people like Spring Valley. A lot of people like um, Summerlin. Some people like downtown. It just depends what you're looking for. If you're like a young person and you like going out and you like, you know, the entertainment and all that, then Downtown could be cool for you. There's some nice apartments downtown. Nice condos downtown as well. So, but for me, I like to be able to go to those places when I want, and then when I come home, it's quiet and it's peaceful, so that's why I like Henderson. Because it's, you know, it's close to everything, but far enough away. So how much a two bedroom for where you're at? Two bedroom goes for anywhere from 1280 up to 1500, depending on the layout, how many bathrooms it has, what floor it's on, what view it has, what building it's in. So there's a lot that it depends on, but got a lot of new people coming on. Make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button um, down below. Support the channel, it helps to get the video out to more people, so appreciate that to you guys. Um, also, let me know where you're from if you're just coming on. Let's just start a conversation with each other and here to answer your questions. I'm here to you know, be of service to help you guys out. I'm 50, still feel 25 mentally. That's my party too much at 25. <laughs> hey, if you had fun and you enjoyed it, there's no regrets. I'm 28 too, that's what's up. Hell yeah, man. I'll be 29 in a little over three months. And honestly, it's just a number. I don't even care, it doesn't matter. I used to worry about it, but. What's up, South Korea? I didn't, I didn't even see that. South Korea. So let me know where you guys are from as well. I know um, some of you are from Alabama. I know a lot of you are from California, but just let me know where you're from. And any questions you have, it, could, it doesn't even have to be related to Vegas. You can ask me anything, life question. You can ask me a personal question. You can ask me a fitness question. You can ask me whatever you guys, whatever you guys wanna ask, feel free to uh, to ask. 
You were so right, man. The grind has been sucking life out of me. No kids, no girlfriend. And on a month to month, totally the same mindset now, but it's hard to break away. I feel you, man. It's one of those things where you just got to do it, you know? You just have to, you just got to do it, you know? Because the thing that I found is the more you think about something, like sometimes it is good to think and you want to obviously evaluate your options, but I find when I think too much, I think of reasons not to do something and I talk myself out of it and I don't do it. So typically when an idea comes to my head, I just do it. Like today I was, I wasn't even going to do this live stream, but I was like, you know what, I'm going to do live stream and I just did it, you know, super spontaneous. But because if I had thought, oh, should I do a live stream? Shouldn't I do a live stream? Oh no, it's hot. Oh no, I'm just going to be sitting at a park. People aren't going to watch it. I'm gonna talk myself out of it, so it's better to just do things, man, is what I've found. Seattle. What's up, Seattle? I used to live in Utah, North Las Vegas, just figure out Henderson's safe place. Yes, Henderson is actually like, I don't know if it still is, but at one point it was the second safest city in the USA. One of the zip codes here, so. Yeah. How do you meet people since you're self employed? You know, that's something I do need to work on, to be honest. You know, I'm, I'm a homebody. I don't get out too much, but I go into my office at my apartment. Sometimes I work in the, um, the community center there and just hang out there and just meet some of my neighbors. Like when I go to the gym, sometimes I'll meet people. Some people ask me questions about working out. Um, just going on walks, going places. I'm a very people person, I guess. So I can meet people extremely easy. How's weather in the evening right now? Um, weather right now in the evening, it's probably about 78, 79. So in the nice, it's, at night, it's beautiful right now. Maybe like 80, 82 at the highest. Shout out from Riverside, California. What's up, California? Vegas, it was very dry, so the weather would be a little issue if I moved there. It is dry. It's gonna be dry all year. So in the summer, you're gonna get dry heat. In the winter, you're gonna get dry cold. So. It is something you have to adjust to. Sometimes people get nosebleeds when they first move here. I know when my mom actually came and visited, um, she got nosebleeds her first two nights because if you're not used to the dry air and the altitude, it will um, catch you by surprise. 78 degrees Fahrenheit, nice. Yep, perfect at night. Any good spas? It's a good question. I know there's a ton of them on the strip, I haven't been to any personally, but I think Green Valley Ranch also has a really good one. But there's a ton of them on the strip. I love the dry heat. I have asthma with their health, surprisingly, so. That's very common, and a lot of people from Chicago say that, so. Pretty cheap compared to what I'm praying now in Brooklyn. Yep. I think we have some of the lowest, like, it's still expensive for a lot of people. I'm not gonna sit here and say it's cheap, but our cost of living is very low here compared to a lot of places. Like, even where I'm from in Orlando, Florida, it's a lot more expensive to live here, or live there, than it is here. So, Columbus, Ohio, what's up, man? Geo. Geo, you're in the Castile as well. That's cool because that's actually where I live, bro. Hit me up on um, hit me up on Instagram, dude, because I do a lot of um, video work as well. So it'd be cool to link up with each other. Um, I have my Instagram down in the description of the videos. So definitely send me a message, man, because that'd be cool to link up. Um, are there any buffets that should be avoided there? Mm, honestly, I haven't really eaten at any of the buffets besides Green Valley Ranch when my family was here for Christmas and it was really good. So Green Valley Ranch Buffet, highly recommend. Good food and it was actually pretty affordable for the three of us to eat on Christmas. I think it was like, it was like just under $90 with tip and we were there for a while. We definitely got our money's worth. Yeah, nosebleeds, I got them there with 13% humidity, for sure. It's something that might happen at first, but you'll get used to it and you'll stop having them over time. Usually within a couple days, maybe a week. You should do a walkthrough through Chinatown. I would like to do that. I'll add that to my list, actually. I have a list. Um, 
of videos that I still want to do. So I'll add that on there. Michelle, hello. Mike, I moved from Illinois to Chandler, Arizona. How do you like Arizona? I've only visited to, I've been to Oatman, which is just like a little tiny town in the middle of nowhere. And I've been to Kingman, but that's about it in Arizona. And um, the area across from Laughlin, Bullhead City, I've been there. I had to put Vaseline in my nose. Yep, that'll help. If you guys are coming on, make sure you click the thumbs up button. I see a lot of new people joining. Are you a fan of In-N-Out? No, not really. I think it's overrated. Um, if you want a good burger, I highly recommend Fat Burger or Shake Shack is good. Um, those are probably my two favorites, Shake Shack and Fat Burger. How are manufactured homes like? Not sure. I haven't really looked too much into manufactured homes, but I know that there are some in this area. There's actually some on, you go on Wigwam. Um, the next street over, what is it? Green Valley, not Green Valley. Uh, there's a street right over there, right next to Stephanie and Wigwam. If you go one street over, um, there is over um, west and you'll find it. You're only like 15 minutes away. Yep, I'm uh, I'm by Gibson right now, yep. I'll be walking back towards uh, where I live here shortly because I've been on for quite a while now. Arizona is very hot, but it's far more modern than the Chicago area. That's surprising. I know Chicago has a lot of financial issues, so. Kind of is surprising, but at the same time, they have a downtown environment, so I would think they would have some more modernized stuff, but it's cheaper than some places here in Tennessee. The prices of the apartments there surprised me. Yeah, there's a lot of places, man, that are more expensive. But depending what you do, not all the wages here are going to be great either. Um, where can I find commercial area in Henderson? Any area where I can rent office for video filming. I can't think of any specific areas off the top of my head, but they're definitely around for sure. Um, there's a lot of like office buildings. If you go down Stephanie, just like off to the, some of the side streets, there's some empty buildings, places that you could probably find. Um, I would recommend something more like a high rise though. That way you can get a lot of nice light and floor to ceiling windows. So you have a lot of natural light in there. It would be cool. Do you visit Boulder City since it's so close? I've been there a few times. There's not really a whole lot there. It's a cool downtown area to walk through and it's a cool area to get to um, the Hoover Dam, just kind of explore that area. Um, besides that, there's not really a whole lot in Boulder City, but it is a nice, quiet little town. Chicago has ridiculous corruption. Yeah, I've heard that. Sam is, man, New York, California, and Illinois all are corrupted. All of them. Like, I mean, every state has its problems, but those three by far are the worst. People leaving the Windows City and drove. So town was the only major metro area to lose population every other game. I believe it, man. I have a friend who lives there. He actually really likes it. Um, he's like the only person I've heard that enjoys it. So. I lived in Franklin two years ago. Where's Franklin? Uh, let's see. Do you know, say hi to Matthew. I don't know him personally. I've just been following a lot of the people who do other Vegas related videos because I'd like to do some videos with some people. So I just try to hop into their videos when I can and just communicate and, you know, make myself known. But maybe I'll do some videos with some of them soon. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, I hop into his live streams. I hop into uh, Jacob's live streams sometimes. Um, Danny702 has some cool stuff too. She's actually moving to my hometown, Orlando, she announced today, so that's pretty cool. I, I'm gonna, I'm curious what happens because her entire channel is built around Vegas and Vegas tourism, so. It seems like she has a lot of loyal subscribers though that'll follow her anywhere she goes, so I think she'll be just fine. California is ruined by Democrats. 
He'll be Vegas July 4th. Yeah, I might send him a message, try to meet up with him. Maybe go to Pizza Rock or something. I know he loves Pizza Rock and Donut Bar. I haven't been to Donut Bar, so that'd be cool. Um, but I love Pizza Rock. What's going on behind you? Sounds like a lot of kids. Yeah, there's kids everywhere. It's like a splash park over here. So, and this video is probably gonna get demonetized because of the music, but whatever. Thanks, man. I heard Boulder was a nice small town. Could you see living in Boulder City and working in Vegas? You could. Um, just be aware you're gonna have like, you're gonna have a pretty good drive every day, 30, 35 minutes. Um, on top of that, it's gonna be a lot of mileage, so you're gonna be using a lot of gas. So if you're driving into Vegas five days a week, you're gonna be using a lot of gas. But it's definitely doable. Um, it's not super far. It's not a long time. Just be aware the mileage will add up, so you'll be, You'll be going through some gas, but I mean, a lot of people do it. They live there. I know some people who live, um, you know, pretty far from here, not even like past Boulder in the like small Arizona cities. I know some people who live over towards Pahrump that make the drive all the way over here for work. So it's doable for sure. A lot of people move to California to smoke weed. I mean, you can move here and smoke weed. Marijuana's legal here, it's legal in Oregon, it's legal in Washington, it's legal in Colorado. A lot of states it's legal for medical issues, which it's very easy to get a medical card, so it might as well just be fully legal. Um, but yeah, I think that was the thing like when California first did it, because they were one of the first states, if not the first, to do medical. And then I know Colorado was the first to do recreational, so I know people were moving to Colorado originally to do it, but now it's kind of becoming common. You can do it pretty much anywhere. Have you been across the border yet? Not yet. I want to. I want to actually go down to Mexico. I don't have a passport right now. I need to get one. Um, hopefully if the channel keeps growing as it is, I would love to do more travel videos and, you know, go to... When you move down there and you have to get a new license plate, was it expensive? It was about the same as California. My car registration was about $244 a year. License was, I think, $25. Um, it did not take very long. I just made an appointment online, showed up. Pretty easy to do. Just have all your documents with you and you'll be good. You do have to surrender your old license plates to them though. Um, the car registration was expensive. Like in Florida, it was $45 a year. So it was, you know, six times the price. So it was a lot more, definitely a lot more expensive over here to register your car than Florida. That's why a lot of rental cars, they will be registered in the state of Florida because it's so cheap. I'm worried about that. I'm not sure how to prove residency when I get there. Usually if you just show your like rental agreement, you can change the um, change the address on your bank accounts, your credit cards. Uh, if you get your utilities set up, your cell phone bill set up, any types of things like that, you can do to prove your residency. I'm not sure what the two you need, but I know you can use credit card statements and all of that for one of them. I'm not sure if the other has to be rent or electric bill or what it needs to be, but you do need to provide two forms of residency, I believe. I'm just gonna check my battery real quick. Hold on, guys. We're good. We are good. Staying strong at 20%. I'll be right back. Earthquakes in California worry me. They can happen here in Vegas too. So. They're not nearly as common here in Vegas. Not ones that we can feel anyway. I think they're pretty common, but they're very low magnitude. So for a 2015 Honda Civic full coverage, I have no idea. You're gonna want to do a quote online for your insurance company. My insurance on my car. When I was in California, it was 250 a month, so probably about more than half the price cheaper. 
compared to over there, which is surprising. Most people say that it gets more expensive. So in my case, it was cheaper. But I can't really give you a quote history or any of that. But you can always do a free quote. I don't know who your insurance coverage is through, but usually if you just go on their website, you can do a quote um, right there. It doesn't cost you anything. It's completely free to, to put in. So I would do that. Let's see. Do you watch Jacob Life's in Vegas? What do you think of him and his channel? I watch his videos all the time. Um, I watch his live streams all the time. I think what he does is cool. I mean, to be honest, a lot of his stuff that he does, I mean, inspired me to want to do it. You know, once I, once I made my first Vegas video that, like I mentioned earlier in the stream, I wasn't even intending like doing it. I just saw that the LA video did good. That was my first video that blew up was the leaving Los Angeles and after I did that, I'm like, let me do one about Vegas, pros and cons. I did, it did really well, surprisingly. And I actually almost didn't post that video because I was like, ah, it's probably not gonna do that well. I'm not gonna put it up, whatever. And I did, and I ended up doing really well. And then I came across Jacob's channel after that. Started watching some of his stuff. And uh, I think what he does is really good. You know, same thing for anybody. I think it's cool to get different perspectives so you know sometimes people might say oh your videos are similar like I've even had some people tell me that my videos are very similar to his but at the end of the day I'm gonna have a very different perspective than he is you know I may cover the same topic sometimes but I'm still gonna have a different perspective because I'm not Jacob I'm Tony you know so I think it's good to have different perspectives from different people because some people may say oh they love Vegas and they're very biased you know and some people may have ill intentions with that you know some people work to try to get you to move here they hook you up with a moving company when you contact them and then they get a kickback for referring you now I don't know if everybody does that but you know I have heard of people doing that so sometimes people don't have your best interest in mind and they're just doing it to get a kickback so again it's always good to get more than one perspective from any standpoint so let's see there's been a lot of great info in one live stream thank you Jordan appreciate that tried to give some good info and just answer some questions are you gonna do a collab I would be willing to you know I don't know what we would cover but I'd be willing to you know I'm willing to collab with anybody somebody mentioned say hi with to Matthew earlier I'd do something with him downtown maybe I know like I said he likes doing food videos so he'd probably be cool to link up with a food video <sighs> something about hurricanes and stuff affected 2018 camera in 2015 230 full coverage yep that sounds about right for two cars I mean that's like I said mine was 115 a month um, for I had an Audi A4 at the time 2011 not like a brand new one or anything but um, 115 a month was what I was paying I don't have any tickets I don't have any um, accidents on my record so Tony what you like in Florida Florida has really good beaches I love the beaches there for sure Siesta Key is my favorite beach in Florida but it's just a beautiful state for beaches you can actually go in the water it's super warm it's super clean so I do like that about Florida and I have a feeling my phone is gonna overheat guys because the Sun is pretty brutal walking back this way so I'm gonna try to keep the phone down but if I lose you it's because of overheating on the phone Um, have you watched the videos from All You Can Eat Guy? Yeah, I've watched his videos. His videos are pretty cool, man. Like, he just runs around and eats buffets and makes videos about buffets. That's pretty, pretty good life. Let's see. Thank you, Michelle and family. Yep, thank you for uh, having your input on that as well, too. Um, Florida is a lot humid for sure. Florida is a lot more humid Way more humidity in Florida compared to here
Yeah, I think it's more about the zip code that you're in. If you're in a high crime area, then your insurance is probably gonna be a lot higher than if you're over here in Henderson where I am. So I think it does have a lot to play with um, where your car is gonna be too. Let's see. Sounds like Geico is the way to go. Yeah, I had Geico as well, so probably might be a good way to go. I know eSurance as well is also really good. eSurance gave me a pretty low quote and they're actually operated by Allstate, so don't be afraid to use some of these um, online companies because they usually can charge you less because they don't have actual offices to like upkeep. So sometimes like, you know, like the e-surance and stuff can be cheaper, just depends. Are drivers in Vegas crazy? I don't think so. I haven't really had any crazy problems with anything here. I mean, when it's late at night at like 1 a.m., you may see some people turn on red when there's nobody else coming, but I don't, I don't think that's like crazy or anything. Have you seen Jacob's Life in Vegas? I have, yeah, I answered that question a little bit earlier in the stream. <laughs> I think everybody here has seen Jacob's Life in Vegas. <laughs> this is Tony's Life in Vegas though, so. But yeah, I think it's cool that other people document their, you know, their experiences. Cause like I said earlier, you know, everybody has their own perspective on, on everything. And I think it's just always good to get different views from different people. <laughs> Crime rate, rate of accidents, see, yeah, that's exactly what I assumed it was, is crime rate. That probably plays the biggest. USA Insurance, what are content fudge? So. <sighs> Brutal right now, and the phone will overheat. Maybe in... I don't know. Maybe in a little bit. I'll walk back. Right now I'm gonna stay in the shade and just keep doing this for a little bit. Can you turn right on red after stopping there? Yeah. You can turn right on red on most areas unless there's a sign that says you can't. Um, the thing that most people have to adjust to is we have flashing yellow lights for turning left. So sometimes the straight light will be red and then for you to turn your light is actually flashing yellow which means if there's nobody coming you can go. So that's something you might have to get adjusted to. I know when I first came here, it was kind of weird, um, but it's pretty easy to figure out. Hi from New Zealand. What's up, man? That's cool, New Zealand. How did you find my channel, man? I'm just curious. I can't believe I'm eating all this. Enjoy it. I'm gonna hydrate. So if you guys are just coming on, again, we see some a lot of people coming on, make sure you click the thumbs up. It helps the video to be seen by more of the subscribers and more people to find it, just in general, searching for things. So I appreciate that, guys. I never gain weight, high metabolism, but all this sugar and butter can't be good. No, definitely, definitely not. It's okay once in a while. Um, let's see, from Jacob's Life in Vegas page, that's cool. I notice a lot of our, our videos are kind of being bounced back and forth, so. Can you say hello to Brazil? What's up, Brazil? Automatically update any channel. I feel you are way more down to earth and real than Jacob. You give us unbiased reviews and info, thanks. Hey, I, you know, I have no, like, I don't, you know, my thing is, I don't know what other people are getting from doing their videos. They may just, I mean, for me, I just enjoy doing the video. And I'm just trying to give you guys good, valuable information, and then what you do with it is up to you. Um, but I don't do it to get a kickback from anybody. I don't do anything like like that. Um, you know, I just try to give you real, raw perspective. I don't even I don't even want to say that I'm giving you guys necessarily information. I'm just giving you my experience, my perspective, and you guys can roll with it. But you got it. I'm glad you're enjoying the channel. Um, uh, 
All right, my connection does not seem very great right now. When I moved to Florida, I had to take a test. You have to do that in Nevada. I did not. Um, I did not have to take a test when I moved to California, and then when I moved from California to here, I did not have to do a test at all, so. Hot? No, not really. It's about 93, 94, maybe even a little bit higher. It's not bad today. Vegas is pretty diverse. It is very transient, so you're going to have a lot of people coming and going. You're going to have people from all over the place, different perspectives, different races, different cultures. It's a really cool place. I like it. Have you been to Brazil? I have not. I would love to go to Brazil, though. Um, your channel is very much informative to me. I appreciate that, man. I try to be as informative, as real, as raw, and just sharing perspective, really. What it is, Tony, you're more in depth with your audience. You take out the time to communicate with your audience, which makes you more genuine than others. Keep it real. That's one thing I do notice. Um, a lot of people don't keep up with their comments. A lot of people post these videos and they don't comment back to people. And I understand why a lot of people don't because sometimes there's a lot of negativity in your comments. There's things, you know, you don't want to read it because um, sometimes people have negative things to say and sometimes it's not even worth going back and forth, but I think it's important to go through your comments because people are taking time out of their day to leave a comment and if you're not going to engage with your audience and you're just going to post videos, then to me, you're only doing it to get the views and for your benefit and you're not actually engaging with your own audience and that's why I'm doing these live videos again because not only can I interact with you guys in the comments, but YouTube gives me the ability to do a live video as well. So. Why not use the features that are there and take some time to do it? I mean, I think if you're gonna do a YouTube channel, you might as well put your all into it. Like don't put, you know, don't half-ass it. Like don't just put up a video and then not reply to anybody who took time out of their life to watch the video, to comment on the video, and you know, they subscribe to your channel because they like you and then you can't take an hour out of your day to go through comments once a day, you know? You can do it while you're watching TV. Like that's usually what I do in the morning and then at night I have my laptop and I go through comments while I'm on the couch or right after I eat breakfast, you know? Like it doesn't really take that long to go through them and you know, people appreciate that. Like that's how you're gonna grow a solid community. You're gonna go a, a like community who thrives and they bounce back and forth and they support each other and they appreciate each other versus just viewers like there's a total different thing before like between having a community and having a viewer so let's see we get to experience vegas we really like you man you're real i appreciate that i miss being able to do live youtube videos on my phone yeah they changed it you used to be able to do it and then they made it so that you had to have a thousand subscribers which i don't know why they, I mean, I guess it kind of encourages you to try to grow your channel more. I don't know. But yeah, they changed that up. But you can still do YouTube Live um, on your computer if you don't have the thousand. Um, but yeah. Show how do your chicken turn out. See, this is the type of stuff I'm talking about. Like, you guys are conversating with each other. This is what a community is all about, you know? It's not just about me, you know? And having you watch my video. Like, that's cool that you guys watch my video and you like them, but I want you guys to also, you know, feel like you're a part of the community, so. Hopefully I can start walking here. Seems like it's gonna be kinda hot. I don't know if the phone's gonna make it. But we will try. Ugh. If the live stream disconnects, guys, it's just cause the phone overheated. But I will do my best to try to not let it overheat. But right now the sun is facing directly at the phone. So it might overheat. If you keep it up, you'll be able to retire there and never leave. Probably a dream for most watching. <laughs> yeah, man. And I enjoy doing this, like... You know, it's fun to me. Yeah, I do it on my computer, but I did it more on my phone. I've done videos for four years. I don't have to get big. Just wish I could do all the things that I was able to before. Yeah, I don't know why they took that away. I understand why they made it more strict to uh, monetize your channel because 
I mean, I've had my YouTube channel for three years now, and I remember when I first monet like when I first started it, I had ads on it and everything, but I was making like 10 cents. It was like nothing, you know, and it was almost kind of like discouraging, you know. So I think the fact now that you have to have a thousand subscribers and the watch time, you know, and all that, I think actually encourages people to create um, instead of worrying so much about making money off of it, you know. And eventually, when you have a large audience and your subscribers grow, then you know you can make some money doing it. But until then, I think it's just more about doing what you love and creating because you want to create and not creating because you're just trying to do it for money. And I think that's where a lot of people fall into a trap with this is they do it with the wrong intention. You know, they do it to try to make a killing off of a quick, you know, quick cash is what they think. But, you know, it takes time. It's something that you build it for years and you don't see any return. I've been doing YouTube for almost three years now and I've just started to see growth, you know? And it's because I've been consistent and I've been doing more research on, you know, the type of videos that I'm doing versus just picking up the camera and doing random stuff. But, you know, definitely not quick cash. No, not at all. That recipe sounds good. Try it out. Alfredo pasta, that sounds good. Do you use any editing apps or programs? I use Final Cut Pro. Um, and then for some of the graphics that I do, I use Motion to create like the animations. So I use that on my Mac, but honestly, just start with your phone. If you're gonna do a finance channel, just do like tips about finance. Um, use Google Keyword Planner and try to find what people are searching for. Google Trends, find what people are searching for, make videos about that, and um, just do it on your phone to start. You know, I think a lot of people too is what they do. They start to, they go out and they, you know, spend a thousand, two thousand dollars on equipment, and then they decide, you know, three weeks later that they don't want to do it anymore, or, you know, they're not happy because they're not seeing growth, but I think it's best to just start with your phone, make videos, get some momentum, see if you enjoy doing it, see if you enjoy the process of making the videos and doing them. And then if you do, invest in some better equipment over time. You know, that's what I do with, with anything that I make from the YouTube channel. I just put it back into getting new equipment and being able to, you know, travel, get around. And I use it strictly for making content for this channel, so. Los Angeles, this street would be covered with littering graffiti. 100%. It's pretty clean over here. Um, Google Trends, I've been trying to find it. Just go on Google and type in Google Trends and then you can search for it and you can see what's popular. And just go in there and search like whatever top. out here for a second because it is it's a little hot walk so let's see what questions you guys have or stock yeah use I like using bone broth I don't know what you guys use but bone broth is also good to use um, let's see do you have homeless in Henderson not really it's very rare I've seen like two the entire time that I have lived here so it's not common at all. Now, if you go Henderson area, like Boulder Highway, um, that's where you will start to see some. But over here in like Green Valley, where I am in Henderson, I don't ever see homeless people. It's super rare. I'm currently drinking body armor. That's what I'm drinking. Body armor, sport water. It was actually the cheapest one at the gas station, so that's what I... I got. Um, what cameras do you recommend to start vlogging with? Dude, use your phone. Use your phone, start with your phone. You know, if you wanna have a higher level of quality on the phone, get a DJI Osmo so that you can stabilize it so that it's not like shaking like this. Um, but start with that, start with what you already have. Don't go spending hundreds or thousands of dollars on equipment until you actually enjoy the process. You know you wanna keep doing it. You're starting to see growth in your channel 
and you want to actually dedicate more resources into doing it, but otherwise just use your phone. I know plenty of people who started with their phone. I started with my phone. I used my phone for a good two years until I started using a better camera, but only once I saw growth in the channel and I wanted to keep doing it and I wanted to up the quality. Um, but you can also do a Canon M50, which is what I have. It's like 600 bucks for the body and the lens. You can get yourself a tripod, you can get yourself some lights to have at home, and you'll have a full setup for like 800 bucks. Camera, lens, lights, everything. Do you ever see people open carrying in Vegas at all? Sometimes. Um, mostly just like they have them on their holster. Um, you don't really see anybody carrying around like an AK, even though you completely can legally. You can carry around a rifle, an AK, whatever you really want. Um, it's completely legal. So it's not really common because who's going to carry around something like that? You know, most people just have a handgun, which. I don't mind because, you know, if shit was to go down, I'd rather have somebody around me that has a gun that's trained with a gun than some, you know, than to not have one because that person could potentially save somebody's life. In my opinion, that's my thoughts on it. B vitamins. The wind seems to help with the heat in Vegas. I also sleep with the fan blowing on me too. Yeah, there's a lot of wind. There's a lot of wind right now, actually. That's why I'm kind of back here right now. But I'm going to try to walk back. If I lose you guys again, it's because of the heat on the phone hopefully the phone makes it I think this is definitely the longest live stream I've ever done we're almost going two hours now Body armor, six or eight pack was six dollars at the grocery store. That's cool. I got this at the pit stop gas station right there. I think it was like a dollar seventy nine, and it's a it's a pretty big bottle. It's, I don't know how many ounces it is. I think it's a liter. Yeah, one liter. Bay incident what was the locals reaction people freak out I have no idea because I didn't live here at the time I, I I lived in California at that time so I don't really remember I know I was surprised so I would imagine it would be you know pretty surprising here um, now I did live in Orlando when that shooting happened in Orlando Florida you know I only lived about three miles four miles from where that happened and you know I remember I was just in total shock I actually knew a couple people that were in there thank god they all you know got out okay and lived but you know a couple people I know were you know they were hiding in the ceilings and hiding in the bathrooms with this psychopath inside that club so you know it's a, it's a scary thing and that's kind of comes back to what I said earlier you know you never know <laughs> You never know when your time's gonna come. So you gotta enjoy every minute, enjoy every day. You know, always try to do things that you like. Try to do, try not to do the things that you don't like, you know, as little as possible. And uh, yeah, so. walk because there's nothing coming but here's the 215 so there's the 215 guys that's going east towards boulder city towards the lake mead hoover dam 215 right there and that's the main freeway that goes east and west and it goes all the way up to summerlin
and that's the strip over there. You guys could probably see it, hopefully. I don't know, that's the strip over there. Beautiful mountains in the back. Great thing about here is anywhere you go, you can see mountains anywhere. You look east, west, north, south, mountains everywhere. It's beautiful. So here's the freeway. Have you visited the Titanic? I have not. I'd be interested to see it. That'd probably be a cool video to do. Yes, sometimes the mountains look fake. They really do sometimes. Because most of them are really big here. Like they are big mountains. It's not just like a baby mountain here. They're pretty big. So, all these rocks. I'm probably going to have a little bit of a sunburn. I've been out all day. But I've had fun doing it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the live stream. Again, if you haven't hit that thumbs up button, make sure you do that. It does help the channel a lot. Probably more than, more than a lot of you guys realize. The thumbs up button really does help the channel to be able to be seen by new people and, you know, for new subscribers to be able to see the videos because... You know that way it tells YouTube it's a good video so anyways let's see here we are good to go Let's see, we got some good questions here. Let's see, we got a lot more comments, okay. Um, so is Henderson walking distance from the strip? No, no way. You're gonna be at least an eight to 10 mile walk. I mean, I guess you, you could, but I wouldn't do it. Don't get burned. If I did, it's already been done. <laughs> I'm gonna be inside the rest of the day, so I'll be all right. I might go in the pool at my place after here. I'm almost home, so. Thanks, Tony. See you in the next one. See you, Kelly. Thanks for coming on. Um, hey, I just got back from walking all over Santa Barbara. Popped on YouTube and saw you live streaming. Love your content. Thank you, Joseph. That's awesome, man. Appreciate that. Hopefully, Santa Barbara was beautiful. I went there one time when I before I left LA. It was a couple months before. Uh, one of my good friends there was actually moving back to Florida, so. We did a little road trip up the coast one morning and stopped in Santa Barbara. Man, it's beautiful over there. Super nice little city. Expensive, but nice. I just liked it. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you, Tony. You got it. See you next time. Take a chill. Henderson, probably 10, 15 car ride to the strip. Thumbs up. Yeah, if you guys haven't done the thumbs up, please do it. It doesn't cost you anything. It's completely free and takes five seconds. And it's it's the little thing to show some appreciation for the channel, I appreciate it. So a lot goes into making these videos and, and doing this, so. I think, well, all you do is make YouTube videos. That's, you know, lie. it's hard to make these YouTube videos, man. These things take time, take money. It takes a lot to do this stuff. A lot of people don't realize that. Appreciate those of you coming on and commenting and asking questions and everything you guys do. I appreciate it. And I'll probably be home in the next 10 minutes. So any other questions you guys have, just drop them down now. Because once I get home, I'm going to go in the pool for a little bit, I think. What's up, Drew? Drew says thumbs up. Hell yeah. There's a Lamps Plus right over here if you need a lamp. Whew. 
It is getting hot, guys. It always gets like the hottest around like four or five o'clock. And then from there, it kind of cools down. So I came out and did this live stream during like the hottest time of the day, of course. I like to do them more so towards sunset after five o'clock, 5.36, but. It's a Popeyes, a Wendy's. Always Tony, you're the man. Appreciate that, man. You're the man too. Wendy's over here. There's a Chase Bank. Um, and then right back there is a Winko grocery store. So, tons of stuff close by. And I actually really like going to the Winko because it's a um, it's an employee-owned company. I don't 100% know exactly what that entails but I know that they do give their employees an option to own some stock in the company I believe so I do go there their prices are usually pretty low compared to Walmart anyway and I actually refuse to go to the Walmart neighborhood market over here because they just get rid of all their cash registers except for two everything is self checkout so they're like getting rid of everybody's job and I just I'm not gonna go there and support that because anytime like Walmart might have low prices but if you're buying your stuff there, you're supporting self-checkout, you're supporting automation, you're supporting getting rid of jobs, you know, whether you realize it or not. So, I always go to Winko in the middle of the night. I do too. I usually, I wouldn't say middle of the night, but I usually go pretty late. Usually after like 9, 10 o'clock. There's nobody in there. It's easy. I hate going to the grocery store when it's like super busy. So I try to go late when I can. Popeye's liver snack. No substitute for humans. I agree. Yeah, I don't like, like I'll use the self checkout if I have like very few items. Like if I have like five items, I don't mind it. But the fact that all of their registers now, except for two are self checkout, they're kind of forcing you to do self checkout. Um, and if I have like 30, you know, 25, 30 things, I don't want to do self checkout. You know, I only want to do self checkout when I have very few items and I just need to get in and out quick but if I'm scanning my entire grocery like haul I don't want to do that it looks better than Cali Mexico is the weather safe for pets down there it is um, for the most part just be aware like if you have like a flat faced dog obviously they're gonna have a hard time breathing and be aware of the paws so you want to have like little socks or something or some type of shoe or something to cover their paw because the grounds do get really hot and dogs do burn their paws very easily out here. So make sure if you're going to have your dog outside, you have something covering their feet um, because they will burn and you don't want that. You're, not only is that terrible for your dog, but you're going to have to take the dog to the vet. Some things that are more for most. Tony, are you close to Green Valley Casino and Spa? No, I'm not. I'm actually on Wigwam Parkway right now. So these are the these are the Elysian apartments right here. Um, I do get some people asking about retirement here. So if you're somebody looking for a retirement community. These are pretty nice. These are called Rev Revel or something. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I would just say Revel. It's R-E-V-E-L. I believe it's it's either 55 and up or 65 and up. But it is a retirement community. They have like catered dinners every night. Um, I think they have breakfast buffets in the morning. Super nice. And um, they're all modern. Nice pool area. We'll walk by the sign here in a second, but anybody who's uh you know 
looking for that. Keep pets inside as much as possible, I agree. Especially during the hot months. Definitely during the hot months. In July, you pretty much want to take your dog out to use the bathroom and that's that's it. Same for August. July and August, you really only want them outside when they need to use the restroom. You know, or you can get pads, whatever you know you want to do with your animals, up to you. But um, yeah, you want to keep them definitely inside during those two months because it just gets brutal. I mean, even right now it's it's hot. I mean, it's it's only 93, 94 or something, but it's still hot, especially for an animal. You know, they have fur. You know, luckily for us, we're just we're just skin. You know, but imagine being out here with a coat on in this heat. I'd be miserable. Are you near Tropicana? No, not at all. This is Henderson. This is, I, I don't, this is like Green Valley type of area. It's not completely Green Valley, but it's close enough to Green Valley. Um, but these are the, these are the retirement community here that I was telling you guys about, Reville. See, they even have a shuttle bus that'll take you around town. So, you know, these are obviously, like I said, only if you're looking for retiring, you know, if you're a little bit older. Um, senior community right there. Revel Nevada, celebrity chef dining, heated saltwater pool. And they also have a full service spa and salon inside there as well. So it's like a super nice um, retirement place. If you have a grass area, pause probably okay. Yeah, if you're on the grass, it should be fine. Like if you have a little pet park, it should be fine. Animals also sunburn. All right, man, I'm packing up the case. Base, baby. Appreciate the content. Cool, Colton. Take care, man. Thank you for coming on, brother. I'm glad I could answer some questions for you and give you a little bit of guidance. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and call this one, guys, because I am back home almost. I'll be there in about two minutes. Just got to walk to my building. So, thank you guys so much for coming on the live stream. If you have not yet thumbed up the video, make sure you give a thumbs up before we sign out. And that's it guys, I'll see you in the next video.